Okay, everyone. So now we are learning the benefits, features, and the applications of dot net. Benefits, features, or application. These three terms are having the same meaning. Means, what is the purpose of using the dot net? Means, what are the functionality, or what are the good things about the dot net? Because of that, we are using it. So we can say that it's a benefit, feature, or the application. So all these will be coming into the same thing. So the first feature of the dot net is the consistent programming model. Well, we know that dot net is the pure object oriented programming language. So it is having the consistency. We know that dot net is a framework. Inside we are having multiple languages like VB dot net, C sharp dot net, J sharp dot net, and all these languages are having object oriented features. So we can say that it is having the consistent object oriented programming model across all the languages. Means in the .NET, there are various languages which are supported, VB.NET, C sharp .NET, J sharp .NET. Now these all languages work on a consistent platform and that consistent platform is the object oriented model. That means all the languages work on the object oriented programming we know that object oriented programming contain the features like abstraction polymorphism inheritance encapsulation so any language of dotnet you pick they are having the consistent approach towards the object oriented programming so that is the first feature or the application or benefit of dotnet now we are discussing the next feature of dotnet and that is the cross platform support as the name signify cross platform that means it work on the multiple platforms now what is the platform here we know that whenever we make the dotnet project we maximum use the windows so that means in the windows we are having the different types of windows let's say window 11 window 10 or maybe window 8 so if you are developing any of the application on the window platform now it is also working on other platforms of windows let's say if you created the dotnet application on windows 11 that will also work on the window 10 and the earlier versions so that's why it is saying that it is the cross platform support or we can say that it is interoperable between the multiple windows operating system so on the different windows version it work that's why it is called the cross platform support now if we talk about the next feature of dotnet then we are having the language interoperability the meaning of language interoperability is that it is operating with the different different languages language interoperable that means if i have the code of one language i can just work with the other language as well or we can say that the code written in one language can be used in the other language so let's say if i am developing a project in let's say in vb.net so i can use that code into the c sharp.net or the j sharp.net or if i more simpler this let's say if i am making a clock in vb.net now that clock coding I can use into the C sharp dot net or the J sharp dot net. So that means it is the language interoperability means code of one language can work into the other language inside the dot net. So from there we are having the reusability of code means the code which we are having that is reusable. So that makes the reusability of code. And if I am using a code into another means I am not writing code every time let's say if I am the coding available for the clock in the vb.net I am using into the c sharp.net or somewhere else now I am not writing the code again and again so that is improving the efficiency so the performance will be faster so with the help of language interoperability we improve the efficiency so now we are discussing the next feature of dotnet and that is the ease of development ease of development means we can create the application easily as well as there is one more important thing that if i am going to add on the new component to the existing one that is not going to change the 
performance of the system it is not like that if i am adding the new features it will stop no it will be upgraded it can give you the better results so that means installing of new components not affect the existing application i can take the example of the word application let's say you have developed the word file into maybe the office let's say 2010 now today 2019 let's say office is available now this new office is having more features and it is adding the new components but your previous word file which was developed is having no problem it will work properly into the new system as well it can adapt the new features but yes it will not show you the error it will work so as the new components are available you can keep on adding into your project and project will work fine it is not like that you are making into the previous version and project will not work into the new version no it will be adapting the new features and your system existing system will work properly so that's why we can say it is the ease of development so now we are talking about the next feature of dotnet and that is the automatic management of resources so the meaning is that it automatically manage the resources now what are the resources or application use we know that file memory database that are required for any of the application to work so these are the resources so we can say that a dotnet application use resources like file memory database connection so these resources are automatically managed now what is the meaning of automatically management we know that if we talk about the c programming whenever we are going to declare any of the variable now if we are not initializing any value we know that it picks the garbage value but if we talk about the dotnet here it do not do like this it automatically take a zero value let's say if i am de declaring a variable let's say int i in c so i will be having the garbage value but here in the dot it will be having the value zero and how it is going to automatically manage now have we ever thought whenever we run any of the program there are multiple variables are declared let's say i j k their values we have calculated now we close the program what happen afterward these variable remain in the memory they consume unnecessary memory are we going to deallocate that memory ever no in the c program or c++ program we never deallocate those memories we just close the program so those memories reserved over there into the system and unnecessary it is occupied so that is a wasted of resource now in the dotnet it is automatic if you are going to declare some variables now they take their value afterward you close the program automatically those variables freed up with their memory so this is called the automatic management of resources that means automatically free resources when not in use so these are some main features of the dotnet let's say if we talk about the consistent programming model means it is supporting the object oriented programming in all the languages if we talk about the cross platform support means in windows it work on every version and if we talk about the language interoperability so every language if you are having the code that work everywhere into the language then if you talk about the ease of development so installing the new components do not affect the existing one or if we are having this automatic management of resources means whenever the resources are not required it freed up so these are the main features of the dotnet there are few new features which are added to the dotnet in the latest versions so now we are having the next thing which is the new features of the dotnet day by day the dotnet framework is improving we are having the upcoming versions today we are having 2019 as well so there are different different dotnet frameworks available so they are having the new features in them so the first new feature they are having is the parallel computing as the name signify parallel computing if in the dotnet application we are having different different things so they work together they are not into the serial order serial order means let's say there are 
four processes into the waiting now one will over then we are going to the next and then next so this is not the sequential order it is the parallel computing means multiple processes will get the chance to work together so at the same time we are working with the different thing let's say if we take the example of our desktop now on the desktop let's say we are hearing the songs as well as we are playing the game as well as let's say there is some clock is running so multiple processes are working together so in the dotnet also it is parallel computing means multiple process can work together so that is the new feature added now in the dotnet there is the improved security model we know that we use the dotnet for the web application windows application console application so here if we talk about the client and server there we know that in the medium somewhere hackers attack so to just restore those things or to prevent the application from the attack we are having the security model and in the dotnet it is improving constantly means whatever the latest things are coming it just prevent them so the security model in the dotnet is very improved now the next feature in the dotnet is the improved networking networking is used for connecting the database with the application or we are connecting the application with some other application or we are connecting one database with another so this type of networking is very much improved in the dotnet there are all the applications available where we can connect any of the type of database either it is sql or maybe it is oracle or maybe ms access so every type of database can be connected and the secure and improved networking is there into the dotnet and if we talk about the next feature which is added to the dotnet that is the improved application compatibility application compatibility means applications are more compatible with the framework let's say you want to develop any kind of application so they are compatible with the system it is not like that it is a restricted version that yes it will work only here or only there no the applications developed in the dotnet are more compatible they can work and day by day they are improved so these are some new features which are added to the dotnet with the existing one we know that the existing features are the consistent programming model cross platform support language interoperability ease of development automatic memory management and afterward we are having the parallel computing improved security model improved networking improved application compatibility so these are the all features of dotnet